Hi, this is Gully Goldfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling good because today our quote of the day is, in solitude the mind gains strength and learns to lean upon itself by Lawrence Stern. Taking time out to be with yourself is very empowering. It is a time to connect with your true nature and move out from that point on to, to the rest of the world. It is a time to use to connect with your true desires and with your gifts and with who you really are. It is a time for spiritual connection, a time of solitude, a time to detach from all of what is going on outside of us and outside of our control and to focus inward on what we can control. It is a time to focus on you, on yourself. Some of us tend to forget about ourselves and put others before us and this may lead to a very unhappy life. Unfortunately, many people do not follow this important habit of solitude because they are afraid of the truths that they might find in this silence. We need to connect with ourselves or we will find ourselves living a life that we did not intend to live, someone else's life with someone else's dreams, a life that is disconnected from your true nature, a life cannot, that cannot make you happy. So you must find the time for solitude, a time just for you. You can spend it walking, meditating, affirming your life or your life desires, thinking about your goals and focusing on what you want to achieve. After this time alone, you should not feel lonely, but rather recharged and ready to cope with life. Taking time out for yourself must be part of your self-care regimen. It helps you clear your head and focus your mind in the right direction for you. Think about your brain. It needs the sleep time to consolidate all of the information it receives throughout the day. Well, we also need this time to be with ourselves so we can sort through our emotions, our thoughts, and our life. Without this time for ourselves to sit and think, we cannot truly connect with our internal desires. We will be distracted from other people's desires, other people's opinions, and other people's thoughts and wishes. Taking time for solitude shows your subconscious mind that you are important and that you are worthy and that you deserve the care. All of the greatest minds spend a lot of time alone contemplating and figuring things out for themselves. We only have so much concentration available to us daily that we can focus upon. So when we don't give ourselves the time to direct our life in the morning, then we will probably lose our capacity to do this later on throughout the day. I wake up every day at 5 a.m. so that I have this solitude time before my children wake up and the workday starts and the telephone starts ringing. This morning uh, solitude time helps me direct my life to where I want to go and to align my goals with the future that I desire and the life that I want to live and the things that I want to have and to leave behind when I leave this life. So solitude is a very important time for me during the day. Solitude will fill you up and provide you with original, innovative thinking. Thomas Edison said that the best thinking has been done in solitude. The worst is done in turmoil. Solitude time increases creativity and refreshes your mind. It is like when you restart your phone, it suddenly works much better. This solitude time, it's like restarting your phone. You need it. You must remember who you are and where you are going. And this is impossible to do when there is so much noise around. Noise from work, from colleagues, from family, friends, and other obligations. In solitude time, do not even take your dog in with you. It is time only for you to be free, to be with yourself, and to connect with who you really are and who you want to become to fulfill yourself and your life. Solitude time allows you to live life on your own terms and it also allows you to be better in relationships with other people. You become more aware of your thinking patterns and what can delay your progress and all of the feelings that come up. And then you become more understanding of other people when they behave as you do because you, you feel you understand your own feelings. You are connected with yourself. 
Solitude is a beautiful time to enjoy being with yourself. And uh, it makes you stronger. It makes you more pleasant as a person. And it makes you more social, in fact. Of course, we need to be with other people to live a fulfilled life. And I'm not suggesting that you go out and live in the wilderness on your own. I am suggesting that you find the time to be with yourself at least once a week for preferably one to two hours. And on the other days of the week, on the weekdays, take some solitude time of 15 minutes is enough. Spent refocusing your mind while not listening to anything and with your, your telephone on flight mode. Once you have these solitude blocks built into your schedule every day and one long block on the weekend, then you will be laser focused to achieve the life that will make you happy and will make you fulfilled. I personally could not live inside an inner city because I need the quiet life to ensure my happiness. It is easier for me to be creative and to have solitude time when there is not constantly people intruding into my mind through noise, smells, and uh, people and things intruding into my mind and all these other distractions. So when these distractions are not available, we can connect with the voice that is inside of us. Sometimes it is only a whispering voice and it can only be heard when the place is quiet. When you listen to these whispers, your choices that you make throughout the day will be in line with who you are, with your soul. Now lies the last question of whether you can take what you have conjured during your solitude time with yourself and use it and take action in the real world with other people around you. Take your wisdom and independence from your solitude time and bring it to fruition with the help of other people in the world where other people are around you. So you, you must make this connection between your solitude time and the rest of your life so that everything works out for your best and that you can achieve the goals that you have set out for yourself. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a few questions that you want to ask yourself to make sure that you're moving your life in the right direction for you. And the questions of the day are, how and when can I add solitude time to my weekly schedule? And when will I start the practice of giving myself solitude time daily? And can I start today? So as usual, I recommend writing these questions in a notebook, especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over this notebook and make sure that you're moving your life in the right direction for you. So to finish this video off with an affirmation, the affirmation of the day is, I appreciate my quiet time alone and make room for this quiet time daily. I appreciate my quiet time alone and I make room for this quiet time daily. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so throughout the day because an affirmation has the power to transform your life completely with repetition. So I hope you found this video valuable and uh, it can help you in any sort of way. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And also please visit my website, The Gorilla Diet, to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.